Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the king of not unstrapping the boat before yep, he every puts time. it in. Uh, not every time. A huge percentage of the time, I either leave my cover straps on the back, or leave one of the back straps strapped, or leave one of the front straps strapped. I don't even know it. And then one time on Gunnersville, I unstrapped it all by accident. What did he mean to? And dumped it in the water. And that was one person at the boat ramp. So, yeah, the strap game. My strap game weak, bro. Strap. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? All right, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're just out here on a small little local lake now. We're gonna do some, gonna do some bass fishing. Hopefully, catch some on reaction bait, something like that. We'll see. We might let Miss Hunter take over the boat and see what she wants to do. See where she would go and what she would do. We might catch some biggins doing that because, you know, whenever I'm fishing, we go straight to B and C holes, so we don't never catch nothing good. So, we might have to let Hunter go find her own A holes out here on the small little local pond. I already found her. <laughs> she already found her a, a big old A hole. What she what she said. So, let's go catch some. Good and big spot. I mean, big spot. One hook. One hook is all. That's fun. How about that? He's really long. He is. He's a pretty one. You grab the trolling motor. That's fun. That's why I came over here to catch. Some of them big old pretty spots. That's probably a two pounder. Not a big one, but still. Very, very fun to catch. Awesome. That's what I want to come here and do. Them things are beautiful. They're so pretty. Love catching those. Especially on a bait I don't get to throw too much, which is old jerk bait. But I'm turn them loose real quick. the good and feels like oh my gosh just got him hooked for me he's pretty though got him all kind of weird hogtied Unhook this man somehow. He is really pretty. He is, ain't he? He's got some pretty colors. Mm -hmm. You should think about him. I think he's awesome. I'm glad he decided to eat. Had him hooked weird, so he was fighting like crazy. And I think he got hung up on the bottom, too, because got all kind of slime on there from the bottom. Put these poles to him. You like bad boys? Got to take treble hooks out without pliers. What do you think about that? Pretty little spot of bass. Oh, he's probably a 14 incher. Pretty little thing. That chunky. That one not slack in it, dude. I mean, smoked it, ran at me like five feet. Got a large mouth, I believe. Keep him. We're gonna keep him full. Phone talking to me. Kneel down. Must have pressed the button. Pretty one. Little one. We're gonna throw him back. I don't know if he's a keeper. He probably right at it. So give me an update. Update, we've been out here for hour and a half, maybe. Maybe yeah, hour and hour and a half. And we have caught three so far. Two pretty nice spots, one little large mouth, probably 14 inch, just a bear keeper out here on this little local pond. And really, I just wanted to come throw a jerk bait. That's just what I wanted to come catch them on today. I wanted to just, I was hoping I could catch a few more, be a little bit faster, but this is what I wanted to do. So we're doing it. We're actually getting some bites doing it too. I don't think it's the best thing going. I do got something up my sleeve that I believe would be a little bit better, but we haven't done that yet. We're probably better go try it real quick. So I don't know. I just really wanted to come throw this jerk bait. So. Happy to at least get some bites on it. Ah. 
a little large mouth. Nine keeper. Man, the large mouth are hitting it way harder than the spots, which is weird, but both the large mouth have hit it and been running, you know, knocked two or three feet of slack in it. And the spots haven't, they just kind of loaded up on it. So only caught two of each, but large mouth certainly seem to be biting a little bit harder than the, than the spotted bass. So pretty little fish. Beautiful. This clear cold water, they always get really pretty. Feels a lot heavier. He ain't pulling hard, but he feels a lot heavier. Might be a stick or something. Nope, fish. <laughs> I say, he was fighting at first and he stopped. Nope. Got him hooked funny. Another pretty little large mouth. That's a good sign for this lake, actually. And here, this size, and you know, in a few years, these large mouths are gonna be good. So, it's a good sign for this lake for sure. There's a lot of large mouth in here. All right. So, if y'all are curious about the rod I'm actually using, this is a six foot nine medium extra fast point blank blank built with all Fuji components. This is built for a jerk bait. I'm gonna put a little bit shorter handle on it. I used all titanium guides because I did plan on throwing, you know, light fluoro primarily on this. So I want to go ahead and put the best guides I could on this rod and keep it super light for me out here throwing a jerk bit all day. So I'm also building me one that is a 6'9 medium light extra fast. It's gonna be a little bit better for throwing these really small jerk baits like what I'm throwing today. But this is a really, really good all around jerk bait rod. It's my favorite one for throwing like a 100 size jerk bait or something like that, even a 90 or even up to like a 110 jerk bait it throws those little bit bigger jerk baits extremely well it's got a little more backbone than you would expect being a medium extra fast so i'm building me a medium light just like this exact same everything for these little bit smaller jerk baits like i'm throwing today so that's the plan for the future that's actually the next rod i'm working on but i use the fuji sk2 split grip reel seats i use small fuji cork i like that small it fits in your hand really really well keeps the rod extremely light so that's the rod that i'm throwing today i'm just throwing it on 10 pound fluorocarbon i've got an 8.3 to 1 8.2 to 1 gear ratio reel and that's the jerking plug set up right there oh smashed that's a good one, i believe don't you come off Don't you come off. Yeah, I knew it was a largemouth when he bit because he knocked so much slack in the line. just popped up and I went ahead and grabbed him, didn't he? That's a lucky one right there. Two and a quarter large mouth. Pretty lucky to be, to catch him. It's awesome though. Pretty fish, they're so pretty in this clear water when it's cold like this. They're just, they're just awesome. Big and, oh gosh, big giant. big giant one. Oh my gosh oh no ah dude he was all the way down his throat like you couldn't even see the bait six pounder you didn't see him oh my gosh dude that was a giant one Why would you do something like that? Okay. 
My camera's about to die. Little large mouth. Just lost a seven, eight pounder. Just lost a six. We can keep going up because you didn't get in the boat. Hook a little one. Lost a giant. Catch the little one, got him hooked with all three hooks. That's how it be sometimes. We are riding off into the sunset. Off into the sunset. Even though it's super early still. The boat is empty. So I'll see how fast we can get the second. Like, we might not even have enough gas to make it to the ramp. Yeah, there's no gas in it, let's, no tackle. Let's look at the thing. Nothing. Look. That's enough. That's two, ga two and a half gallons. That's, all, that's almost three gallons. But, is it? Yeah. We're empty. We're pretty empty. What do you think? We're pretty empty. You think we're going to make it? We're going to make it up. How fast do you think we're going to go? 73. 73. Let's see. We did not go 73. 71.6, wasn't it? Yep. And that's because I had my jack plate off. I thought, so with it loaded, the jack plate needs to be at a different level than it does whenever it's empty. Same thing, low on gas, low on live wells. You're, the jack plate's, you know, like a, a thing that you're always changing. So the jack plate and the trims always varies a little bit. And I didn't really figure it out until the end when we ran out of real estate. And I bumped it and got everything sitting right. We got up to 71.6, then we had to stop coming here in the idle. So I think we could get up to probably 72, 72 and a half. If we, you know, now that I know the jack plate's right, but. 71.6 pretty fast. Bye. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed that video. We Talk. will see y'all in the next one out here fishing on a extremely low, local, extremely clear, little local, lake. little local lake that's very low right now. Had a good time though. Me and Miss Hunter had a good time. She never made a cast. She ain't made a cast in months. So I like them.